are from Spain, from ABC. Uh, this is a question for Jody Foster. Uh, first of all, why the women are leading the lives of these men? And uh, second, for Josh Clooney, Mr. Clooney, do um, you think that it will be the ultimate betrayal to the young generation in America if the white became the Trump house? <laughs> Oh, wow, those are two different questions. Yeah, well, you go, you go, you, what you want. You want I'll take the woman, unless you want to take the woman question. I, I would like to take the woman question. <laughs> the woman question for 20, please. Yes, please. I think you take the woman. Right. Oh, yeah, I'll take the woman question. Um, there, there are two, uh, there are actually three extremely strong female characters in Money Monster. Um, and that came out of really the development process. Um, when you start working on a screenplay, you start making the characters richer. And um, that's really the process. That's what we do. We just make it richer and richer and richer and richer until it becomes a full organic being. Um, Julia's character, uh, Patty Fenn, was definitely the one that needed the most fleshing out. And once we brought on Julia, it was very clear that, you know, we really wanted to deepen uh, Patty's uh, point of view in the film. Um, and, and I think what happened as a result of all of that deepening of the female characters, Katrina's character of Diane Lester, um, is that we stumbled upon the fact that we had made a movie about men struggling with their sense of failure. Uh, three men, really, Kyle, Lee, and Walt, all struggling with the fact that they have such a bad opinion about themselves that they're looking for the values of celebrity and of money in order to give them meaning. Um, what was interesting with that is that um, also a feature of the movie is how they look for acceptance from these strong women that they've disappointed, um, both Diane's character and Patty's character. Uh, sometimes those truths only reveal themselves to you somewhere when you're in production or when you're in the editing process, um, but that's what really comes from creating full characters and full female characters is that you actually get true dynamics true cultural dynamics that you might not have gotten otherwise. Actually, uh, Jody, you mentioned rage talking about uh, Jack's character. And I was wondering, I mean, you're known for roles that are very almost organic and, and, and really like life forces, really. Where do you get this rage from, which so beautifully is shown on screen? <laughs> uh, I, I I'm, I'm quite nervous to disclose that information. <laughs> In Cannes, it will 